Another heartbreaking defeat for Lafayette. Dan Malley's with Coach O'Hanlon. All right, Coach O'Hanlon, I want to take you back to a minute five left. Joey Tosinski comes up with a game-tying shot, 56-56, and the rest was pure drama down the line. A very close contest. Yeah, I mean, I was proud of how we, we hung tough. We got back in the game. They had a, I don't know, eight, nine-point lead there, uh, somewhere around there, and uh, we, we hit some big shots. Bryce hit the layup. Joey came down, hit that shot. Uh, you know, and at the end of the game, you know, you're you're looking and you think it's in the hands of the point guard who I wanted to get it in anyhow. And he went in, he had a layup. And, um, you know, I know there's a lot of trees in there, but that, we can't ask for better than that. Uh, you know, just one of those things. We came up one point short. Terrific effort, and it shows a lot of confidence that you have in Nick Lindner to go ahead and take that ball up court. Pretty similar to what we've seen Tony Johnson do, especially last year when he was a senior. Yeah, I mean, uh, Tony was terrific last year. But as I said, you're... You uh, you want it in the hands of your point guard, and he has to make a play. And uh, and once again, I think Nick will learn from these experiences uh, of when he balls balls in his hands and uh, just make a play. Tons of confidence for a young freshman point guard, no doubt about it. Fran, before we let you go, tell us a little bit about our Coca-Cola Player of the Game tonight, Alan Flanagan. Well, I thought Alan did a tremendous job on the boards. He really gave us a, a, a huge lift there, and. Uh, you know, he's had some injuries that he's been dealing with, and uh, I thought tonight was one of those games hopefully he can build on. Absolutely. Fran O'Hanlon, thanks for joining us here in the postgame show. Thank you. And let's turn to our Coca-Cola player of the game, Alan Flanagan. Alan, another solid performance here tonight. Tell us a little bit about some of the challenges that the Crusaders brought to Kirby Sports Center Arena. Well, anytime you play Holy Cross, you know, you know that they're going to pressure you defensively. Uh, they're pressed full court the entire game. Tried to wear our guards down. You know, fortunately, Nick did a good job handling that pressure. Uh, but, you know, they're tough inside, they rebound the ball well, and they pressure the whole game. You knew you were going to be going up against what many are considering to be the center in the Patriot League for postseason honors. Uh, what were some of the challenges that he brought to the table? Well, Dave Dodzinski a terrific player, has been for, you know, for four years now. Um, you know, he's a guy that, you know, we you know have to go down and scrape on sometimes, help out a little bit, things like that. Uh, pretty much what you would do with any, you know, very skilled center like that. Um, I think we did a decent job on that. Alan, as your coach just mentioned, a very solid all-around performance here tonight and every night for that matter. You had all your free throws and contributed uh, with your rebounding. And uh, a little known fact about Alan Flanagan, he is perfect from the arc. A thousand percent, two for two from the uh, from downtown. So congratulations on that and congratulations on being our Coca-Cola player of the game. Right, thank you. All right, let's bring it back to Gary and John. All right, Dan, thank you very much. And certainly good rebounding, six for six from the foul line at crunch time. Our Coca-Cola player of the game, Alan Flanagan. All right, John's ready to show you some of the highlights from tonight's basketball game. Here is Mr. Leone. Gary, I really thought the game was played at the pace that was uh, necessary for Lafayette. There you see Dave Dzinski. We talked about him, good penetration on the inside. He only had nine, Gary. He, he, he came to life a little bit in the second half, but really this Holy Cross uh, win was orchestrated by that young man right there, uh, Burrell. I'll tell you, Justin Burrell really made some big shots at key moments. This one from way downtown. He had three consecutive three-point shots in the second half that really put some distance between the Leopards uh, and uh, and the Crusaders. And uh, you know that was just ultimately too big a hole uh, for him to uh, for Lafayette to dig out of. This was a big shot by Cullen Hamilton. Shot clock running down. I think there were only three seconds left on the shot clock. Hamilton hits it. Dribble drive. Now he drives along the baseline. A little teardrop. Cullen Hamilton with five quick points. So Holy Cross did it in spurts. Danny Trist had a big second half. He had consecutive bank shots along the baseline. He gave uh, the Leopards all uh, he could uh, at the offensive end. And I think most importantly, Gary, stayed out of foul trouble, stayed in the game, and limited Dave Dzinski. Joey Dzinski did his usual thing, a couple of three-pointers from deep. Uh, and then uh, how about uh, Nick Lidner? He finishes the game, Gary, with 10, but I'll tell you, he really played a great floor game. He had the ball in his hands at the end. There's a great rotation defensively by Alan Flanagan, our Coca-Cola player of the game. Watch the pick and roll, explore, probe, probe, nothing there. Pull up mid-range jump shot. Joey Tuzinski brought his Leopard team back. Here's the final play. The ball hangs on the rim. How many times have we seen Lafayette go through that circumstance? It's just been that kind of year. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. At this pace, Lafayette's going to be the strongest team in the East Coast. <laughs> well, up next is Lehigh as they'll try to stop a nine-game losing streak for Holy Cross. They're 59 points on 20 field goals. They had seven three-pointers, 12 for 16 from the foul line. 
They were led by Malcolm Miller with 10 and Justin Burrell with 15. They held Dave Dzinski to just nine points in the night's ball game. They go to 10 and nine overall and four and three in the Patriot League. For Lafayette, they're 58 points on 20 field goals. They were four for 13 from beyond the arc. A perfect 14 for 14 from the free throw line as they were led by Joey Tuszynski with 10, Dan Trist with 10, Nick Linder had 13 points to lead Lafayette. They dropped to 4 and 14 and 0 and 7 now in the Patriot League. Final score, Holy Cross 59, Lafayette 58. The women at 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, the men at 7 o'clock at Stable Arena on Saturday night. John and I, well, John won't be here on Saturday. I will be here and we'll uh, do that ball game without Mr. Leon. I can't imagine that happening. You Dan Malley will be with us. You hang in there. All right, I'll do the best thing. I'll check in with you. All right, I'm going to break <laughs> down here for a moment. So for Rick Gio, the RCN television team, thanks for watching. I'll see you on Saturday afternoon. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.